Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. It's funny because right before I started recording this, the camera started recording and I didn't hit record. So it's kind of interesting. I just kind of moved the table and then I was like, it's recording. So something was automatic about it or unexpected. So maybe, yeah, well, this is what you don't see coming. So maybe this is the unexpected you don't see coming. Something you really didn't expect. That's just kind of automatically happens. But anyway, um, this is for Aquarius, okay? So you could be Aquarius sun, moon, rising sign. We're just cross-checking for your favorite Aquarius person. And we'll be looking at what you don't see coming and then what you need to know. And then some guidance from spirits. But before we get into that, we're going to do a quick energy check just to make sure that before we get into what you don't see coming, that this is actually indeed your reading, okay? Because you won't know if you don't see something coming, whether it's for you or not. So we'll just read the energy to see if it's, you know, resonating for you. And if it is, then you can listen to the rest of the reading. So spirit, clear and concise energy check here for beautiful Aquarius so that they know this is indeed their pile. Thank you so much, spirit. I'm so blessed. And thank you so much, Aquarius, for allowing me to tap into your beautiful energy. I'm so blessed, so grateful. Super excited to do this for you. So the first card we had coming out was the star, which is the Aquarius card. So we have the hangman or the hanged one in this deck. Oh, and two cards. We have the nine of cups in reverse and the ace of pentacles. All right, so the star, the hanged man, the nine of cups in reverse, and then the ace of pentacles. So energy check here for you. Yeah, me, I feel like making a dream happen. Uh, coming from a place of it's kind of a pie in the sky idea of something I want into making it happen in this world and manifesting and actually making it happen, okay? Um, because what I feel is that you're unhappy emotionally right now. There's something that's not giving you your wish, and this is your wish that's you're wanting this is wishes and this is wish your wish is not coming true okay so my wish my desire my hope what it is that i want for myself this this yeah it's like um this is a beautiful card about really wishing upon a star and being able to aim for that right and this is like emotionally not being satisfied and not getting what we want and i feel like there's this with the hangman it's like we feel like we're in a state of limbo where we're unable to act Okay, um, and maybe we're seeing things from a perspective that we are unable to act and we need to see things a little differently in order for us to be able to manifest something here because this is all about bringing things into this 3D world and grounding something, making something practical that might just be a, a distant dream, a di distant want. Okay, so if this resonated for you, because that's all I'm getting here for the energy check, and let's ask spirit for what you don't see coming. What does Aquarius not see coming here? What don't they see coming? What don't they see coming? It's Aquarius not see coming. And we'll pull some Oracle cards as well. We have the Eight of Swords. I'm going to read these. All of them? Yep. Okay. We have judgment in reverse. That's very similar to this eight of swords, not wanting to see, not wanting to deal with a situation here. The star in reverse, not getting one's wish. This is the nine of cups in reverse, okay? Nine of cups, here it is upright. That's funny, in the what we just read, this was upright, this was reverse, and now we got into the flip-flop, okay? What you don't see coming. Hmm, do you get what I'm saying? Nine of wands, ace of swords in reverse. Now, let's pull some oracles before we get into this message, which is coming in very strong for you guys. We have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Hang man, we were in a state of limbo. Nothing will change. Nothing will move. That star will come in unless there is movement. Change. Things got to change. Wolf. There's a fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be in your birth chart. Um... energy wow look at these colors energy yeah and even the colors in the in the background of the wolf here lots of wands yeah you might have a strong fire in your chart here or at least this is about again with the star that passion that wanting the the, the dream come true and needing to be ignited here 
mortification. This is the death card. Okay, this is change, mortification. Mortification. Look at this. Look at the center of this mortification and look at these cards. Okay, there's like a center core in all of these. And this one, there's an eyeball in the core. Look how similar. All different oracle packs. And we have 12, Canary Spirits, Sing Your Own Song. Wow. And I'm gonna pull just one more. One more for Aquarius. The Sword of Truth with the Sword 77. I want it to come in reverse. 77 is also number 14, number 5, and number 5 is Change. Sword of Truth. New beginning in following our truths, our, our passion, our desire, or wish. Okay, this one's really, really clear out of almost all the ones I did. Okay, um, very, very clear here. Like, there is something here you're trying to attain that seems far away at a distance. You feel like you can't get to it, but I feel like what Spirit is saying is like, what have you really done to pursue this, right? Because I feel like this is something you really, really want that's going to bring emotional happiness. But I feel like there's something you need to come to terms with, okay? And a big part of what you need to come to terms with will allow you to deal with a situation and the realities of a situation for you to be able to move forward. But I feel like you're telling yourself an untruth that is keeping you eight of swords. And the untruth is something that limits us. That's not true because... Either we believe it to be true because of uh, uh, hanging on to a lie of sorts, or we just put this limitation on us and then start to believe it. So if someone says, well, you can't sing, you can't sing, you can't sing, right? Even though you can, eventually you feel you cannot sing. And this is Eight of Swords. It's like, it's not the truth, but you believe it because someone's told this to us and it limits us. So then we never become a singer. We never release that album. Okay. Funny that I say sing because it's sing your own song. So I feel some of you guys here, it could very much be literal. Yeah. And, and a star, a stardom being in the public eye. I want to sing. So if you're here, welcome. Wow. Cause I feel you're famous already. Okay. This is, could be about singing, but it's like some big dream you have here to sing your own song, go after your passion. And if it's not singing and putting out an album, then it is, I always wanted to be a basketball player. I always wanted to do this, okay? But you gotta sing your own song and break away from the matrix uh, belief that you can't because you're you know, short and fat, so therefore you can't be a model or whatever, you know? You can't see good, therefore you can't be a cop. I don't know, whatever the thing is here, there's something you wanna march to the beat of your own drum and you're telling yourself an untruth, but this is your calling. I feel it so strongly. Like I feel this fire in chasing my truth, walking in that path, okay? Um, but the sword was reversed, and I feel like as long as the sword is reversed and we're telling ourselves, repeating like a parrot, whatever the untruth was, I'm fat, I'm short, I can't sing, or I can't be a model. I'm, I'm uh, blah, 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 like all, watch what you're telling yourself, because I feel like that's what's keeping you eight of swords, and all of these swords are pointing down, not at you, you're not captive, they're pointing down, they're untruths untruths okay and i feel like this energy change allows you to shift perspective and put an end to something here that and i feel what the end is is a belief the end of what you're telling yourself the end of thinking you can't make it happen and transforming your mindset transforming yourself changing the energy up and being um and i feel like it's something here that is maybe a little bit um might be controversial or it might be something that other people might not get so much because with the wolf and sing your own song, this is somebody who does it alone. It's like a lone wolf, okay, who marches to the beat of their own drum. It's like you're in it on your own trying to, you know, um, yeah, you're, you're in it on your own. You're a lone wolf and you're not going to let any other person kind of tell you what it is, how it needs to be done. So you might have been living in someone else's narrative of how it needs to be done or how you need to be in order to get this done. You need to be this. You need to be this to get this done. You need to be this is what I'm hearing. It's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. And maybe you've been trying to transform yourself into that. It's like, oh, I need to be skinny to be a model. So I, now I need to do like 50 million sit-ups. No, you don't. Like you're trying to transform it maybe in the wrong way. Maybe you're trying to change the situation here. 
okay, in order to get what you want here. But I feel like you feel it's at a, at a distance and you can't reach it to get what you want. But what I feel like what you don't know here is that spirit is saying, once you change your mindset here, and, and what you don't know is that you have a limitation here and the limitation is your mindset. And once you change that, then you have that spark, okay? And then you're able to fight for it. But you do have a fighting chance. We have the Nine of Wands, okay? And the Nine of Wands with the Ace of Wands makes a Ten of Wands, which is a, a over, it's a heavy feeling. It's overwhelmed and it's a burden to carry uphill. And sometimes we feel burdened when we have to go our own way and be a lone wolf and sing our own song. It's like a heaviness, okay? But I feel like you have a fighting chance and I feel like you've gone through quite a lot. And so maybe you feel like you already went down the path of, doing it a certain way that you were told was the way to do it so now you're like standing there you know and you're like oh i gotta keep going here i gotta keep going but the sort of truth is telling you like maybe all you need to do is not all you need to do but what you need to do here is once you change your perspective and actually just get going in your own direction and what you know to be true even though it's heavy because you now you're got a ten of wands Okay, because the Nine of Wands is definitely lighter. But once you have the Ten of Wands, it's like, oh, it's going to be heavy for me to do that and change course. But then you're following in your own truth. And that's the truth of the situation. And it changes things up. And then you transform. Okay, and you allow things to shift towards getting what you want, which is your Nine of Cups. And that's your, your, your wish here. Okay, so let's see what you need to know. What do you need to know here in this situation? What does Aquarius need to know? What do they need to know? I, I have a feeling this involves like working with others and maybe you need to punt those people, okay? Because I think you're working with others, too many chefs in the kitchen, too many roosters in the crow house. I don't know. There's too many maybe minds and you want the ability to do things your way, like march to the beat of your own drum, sing your own song, make it your own independent and there's lone wolf here. So it could be like, change it up. And it, and if you are a lone wolf and we're trying, I need to do it on my own. This is something that needs to be done on my own. And you are committed to that thinking with the, with the, with the, with the, with the hangman, there's a, a need to see it from a different perspective where it's like, maybe I can work with someone else. Okay. But it's a sing your own song. So I don't know. I have a feeling more it's not working with people. But if you were stuck in this way, then maybe it's like working with people, but still being able to be independent and sing my own song here, okay? So let's see what you need to know. You need to know. We have Justice, Eight of Cups, and the Three of Wands in reverse. So Justice um, has its meaning for sure in the tarot. Could be something legal here. And it could be a marriage, okay? But justice could just be bringing a, a situation into balance, bringing justice to a situation that was unjust, that where things were imbalanced and not being, yeah, like uh, maybe you were really working on something and following someone else's rule of how to be. And now there's a need for you to bring justice to a situation. And I feel like we keep seeing that nine of cups, it was reverse and then the star in reverse. And now we're seeing the eight of cups in reverse. When the eight of cups is in reverse, it could mean that we are sticking around to something here that we know we're not emotionally satisfied with because maybe we want to be like the good, the good guy or we're too, for whatever reason, we don't leave a situation, but we're not emotionally happy doing it that way or being sticking around. Okay. Or this could also be seeing something in a, at a distance and then leaving a very good relationship or a situation ship or a situation in which was better than we thought. So we might be seeing the shiny star. I want to attain stardom. I want to attain this big dream. And it's like you have a situation here in front of you that might be better than you think for some of you guys. I don't know. I'm just giving, I'm playing devil's advocate. Okay. But I feel for most of you guys, this situation is trying to control you in a way and your, your, your hope, your desire. I know one thing for all of you guys, you're not emotionally fulfilled. So this is saying like there is a need to do it upright, which is remove yourself from something that doesn't emotionally fulfill you because we know you're not emotionally fulfilled. Have a very good look at that situation and be honest with yourself. Truths, whether it hurts or not, what's the truth of the situation, whether you got to be lonely or not, whether you got to march to the beat of your own drum or not, whether you got to, you know, be this lone wolf, whether people call you crazy. 
And like I said, I, I forget what other reading it was here, but it's like, you know, everyone's like, oh, uh, as long as you're happy, like, you know, whatever you got to do to make yourself happy, we just care that you're happy. And then you go and you try to be happy. And so you start being lone wolf and cut people out. And then they're like, what's wrong with Aquarius? They're acting really weird. Um, they just cut me out. It's like, yeah, uh, you said I'd be happy. I'm bringing balance to the situation. I'm following my truth. So you might have to cut people out here, okay? And really turn turn your back on a situation here in order to get clear what emotionally fulfills you. And if that means leaving completely to go elsewhere, then that's what it is. But movement, okay? I understand that nothing can grow or even evolve without movement. So maybe this situation evolves and then you leave and then you come back and it's like, okay, now people are like, oh, I guess you can sing it your way. I guess we can work together now and do it your way because maybe you are right, right? But the three of wands is like, you're not moving forward. Your ship's not coming in. And it's not coming in because there is no movement. There's no change. There's no letting go. There's no transformation here. In order to transform, we have to remove some sort of thought, some sort of thing that we're constantly doing or believing that's not allowing our ships to come in. And the ships, this is about our dreams coming true for our future, right? What, what we laid in, um, what we put our effort into eventually trans forms into something positive that keeps movement in our life that we get to move forward from and grow from and and attain wealth from but in reverse it's like it never comes in or plans fall apart like so i think what this is also saying is plans need to fall apart i think whatever you were doing here was not working so it needs to fall apart this is like you know whatever agreements we had whatever we were working on just never mind it's not working you know put it to an end change the energy here the energy dynamic go in your own way don't work with these people leave the situation you know bring balance and it could be a marriage like i said it could be something feel like a marriage like a partnership here with somebody you know maybe you guys are partner partners in a business or in making an album come together here and they're like you got to do this and it's got to be that it's like nah i'm just gonna boot my own album together boot. you know and then if you do like try to focus on that and then for whatever reason the energy shifts and then the person's like oh yo dude come back and work on my album and then you come back and you already have half a song and it's like now energy's moving and now you can collaborate and maybe it changed, but you're back in kind of where you were, but now it's different, right? Or just remove yourself and go work on your own album and this person can just go bite the big one, okay? So let's take a look at um, advice for you, beautiful Aquarius. Okay, what's the advice for Aquarius, spirit? Don't let anyone hold you back from your dreams and your passions, okay? And... Like I was mentioning, like if it is something that seems it's at a distance and it'll never happen, I mean, if you believe that to be true, then that's what it's that's what happens. If you aim for like above the moon, you somehow land on the moon. Okay, but if you land somewhere or if you're aiming somewhere between the earth and the moon, then you kind of fall short. So, but I know one thing is you're emotionally not happy right now, okay? It's not bringing you fulfillment here. And we can't blame other people for that. We can only really blame ourselves at the end of the day, okay? So don't be eight of swords discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to going after your dream it's all about you and empowering yourself but it starts with being honest and releasing ourselves from an eight of swords the truth we got to deal with the truth we saw judgment in reverse what are the truths i'm working with and then being disciplined okay i get it now i need to embrace the fact that i was wanting to see it this way but that's not the truth free myself of the eight of swords now i got to be disciplined because now i got to embrace it now it's like oh i was hanging on to this business partner because they were better at math and they were able to do the bookkeeping and they had this program that i needed for this and they were able to drive me there and you know and so we were depending on this thing or whatever and it's like well no you can get the program right yeah it's going to be hard but the discipline right what do you got to do to make it happen for yourself because you could still make it happen for yourself in this lone wolf, but you might have to sacrifice something here, tit for tat. And what this is telling me is it's not as bad. So it's like if this other situation, and I use this business partner, right? They had the program and it's like, you think it's like going to be difficult for you to go get whatever. And it's like, I don't think it's that bad. I think in your mind, you're building up to be, you can only make it happen with that person or in that circumstance or that you can't get get it off the ground and you absolutely can i think the discipline is more about what you're able to be in control of okay and i think it just takes that first step for you because i feel this like momentum here okay but it just takes movement and i think once you move and once you free yourself from the eight of swords then that's there's no stopping you like you're top of the world here 
Okay, like beautiful. And if you are into like music or whatever you're doing here, please share because I'm just super blown away here. Okay. So anyway, I hope this helped. Don't stop chasing your dreams. They're, it's not that far away, but it is far away if we start to see it that way and we don't do anything to move and shake up energies. Okay. So love you very much. Talk to you soon. Bye.